Is it? It's gone. Bradshaw again. Solanke's gone. Just the finest of edges. England uh, one down. Chart. First boundary of the day. And the captain hammers it through the offside. Short and wide. Again, second ball of the over that he's bowled short and wide. First off, it was Vaughan. Driving off the back foot for four. This time it was Chris Gothic. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's a boundary. He's got that fine. And that's going to race away. Man, very square on the leg side for the pickup. Well, I think he's making his intentions quite clear. He's going to give Brian Lara and the West Indian bowlers a lot to think about. Well, he's chopped it onto the stumps. Inside edge onto the stumps. And that's the perfect reply from the West Indies. England's best over at the previous over. Now the captain's on his way back. That's a poor delivery. Scoff it onto that like a flash. But that was short and wide. Hammered and hammered very, very hard. It was in the air for a while. But that raced away. Again, short and wide now. Well struck, one bounce, and he's not grabbed it. Wavell Hines, the man down there, seemed to be in the right sort of position. It was struck powerfully. Get uh, there's no one uh, on the boundary at long leg, so there's no one to come round and cut that off. That's a good shot, just waited on it, watched it carefully. Deliberately over the man, saving one at mid-wicket, and deliberately into the gap behind him. Got a hurry, great work from Bravo. Fabulous work from uh, Dwayne Bravo, he got there so quickly. Got the ball into the hand, took aim, struck the stumps, and West Indies think they've got their man. It's Andrew Strauss, he was struggling all the way from there, and he's out by a good six, seven inches. Outside edge, that might run away for four. Oh, this is, a, this is going to be a cracker of a final, this. And gone! Can you believe it? Wow, he first ball, he's bowled back for length, he's hit it quite high on the blade, and the dangerous, dangerous flint off goes. How big a wicket is this? Just have a look at the West Indies right now. Flintoff, that lonely walk back to the pavilion. He comes into the attack way behind. It's a lousy delivery, but how good is he? What a great catch that is. Short in, Brian Law at mid-wicket. Gotcha! That's up, and there's a man underneath it. Chander Paul is there. West Indies having it all their own way today, it seems. Shivnarine Chanderpaul has positioned himself steadily. S -s Sliced away, it's hit hard. It's a welcome boundary for England. First one they've seen reach that uh, part of the field for nine overs. It's 128 for five. Nicely placed and, uh, well, it's unlucky. It was a good effort down there by uh, Ramnaresh Sarwan. It's a good shot. Give him that a good thump with his bottom hand. It doesn't matter how quick you are across the ground. For those, they're going to skid away to the boundary. That's out as well. It's Lara again. He's got himself in the perfect position there. This time it wasn't sweetly into his hands in one go, but it was enough of a parry that he was able to recover very quickly, very comfortably. Good timing. Yeah. That's unbelievably run away for four. That is a good sense of timing from Giles. Well, this is the first boundary in five overs for England. Drills it back, Wavell Hines will be disappointed. Down with one hand, he could have easily stopped that. 
ruined some good figures for Wavell Hines. That struck well. That slug sweep is used very well by Truscothic. Truscothic would look to back through, but he also looks to play his favourite shot off the off spinner. The slog sweep picked the length perfectly. Just a controlled shot over the mid wicket. Not a big hit, just controlled. Well, that's the one that the West Indies would have loved to have held on to. It was sharp. Courtney Brown will look back and think to himself, yeah, I should have held on to this. Well, he went late. I think at first, with the angle in off Bradshaw, Courtney Brown went to his right and then realised he had to go to his left. It wasn't far away. That's gone again. Wide of Brown this time. No chance for him. But it's four to England. Well, it's easy to be wise after the event, but should Brian Lara have a slip in? It is Ashley Giles. Good placement. Oh, that's well stopped again. Corey Collimore is not renowned for being very quick in the field, but he's fielded out of his boots today. Very fine cricket, nothing wrong with the delivery, and it was a classic shot from Chris Gothic. Really just timed it, and it kept going away from Collymore. We've seen this before. And Corey Collymore, the old type fast bowler, get the boot on it. Very well placed. Using the pace and the width. Well, Ashley Giles won't want this summer to end. Wickets, runs playing a little cameo in the ICC final. Yeah! Ricardo Powell was so close. You couldn't fault him there at all. It was a great effort. Marcus Priscothic, it is your day. A yard the other side, you're gone. Ricardo Powell, if anyone could catch it in this West Indies side, he would fingertips. That would have been a great catch. Marcus Triscothic moves on to 98. There it is. 100 number eight in one day internationals for Marcus Triscothic on one of the biggest stages. Yeah, he applauds his team. They appreciate. His work today is 800. England only have 1400s in their squad. And that man's got eight of them. He's had a bit of luck today. But he's played absolutely magnificently. And the crowd, the English crowd, have come out. A cold day and appreciated him. He's put England in a position where they can win the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Now, the third umpire will be called for. Is he back? Great anticipation from Brian Lara. As Chris Gale ran up to bowl this ball, Lara ran towards mid-on. Underarm flicked it over the top. Triscothic diving, the bails are still on. Bales are off there, his bat's up in the air. I think that's the problem with diving, your bat bounces up. A big wicket this could be. Well done, Brian Lara. Great anticipation. Lara's already taken a good catch to dismiss Flintoff. And now he assists in Triscothic's demise. Triscothic's gone for 104 to 111 for seven. This is in the air. Lara's under it again. He's already effected three dismissals today, and this is number four. Bravo gets a wicket. Ashley Giles is gone. Well, you can't keep that man out of the game. And he's only in the field. 
Done absolutely everything right today. He won the toss. No surprise, stuck England in. He's now taken three catches. Just went high up. He's also had a run out. Big game player for a big game. Ashley Giles, great innings. 31 of 37 deliveries. England 2-1-2 for eight. He's given him. Darren Goff, class one ball. Good piece of work from Courtney Brown. Good work from Chris Gale. Tosses it up. Goff way out. Quick work from Courtney Brown. And Goff, it's a long walk. Out to the middle of the oval nowadays for one delivery. He's gone for naught. England 214 for nine. Harmison wants two, and he's gone. Harmison's gone. Suicidal. Good awareness from Sawan. And England have been bowled out for 217. And they still had three deliveries remaining. In fact, two. Oh, nothing makes captains and coaches more angry than seeing this. Two deliveries. How useful will that be at the end of today? Steve Harmison trying to get back on strike. He was stranded. Good bit of work from the West Indies. That summed their day up. In the air and taken. Vikram Solanke takes the catch of cover. Steve Harmison strikes. Hines looking to work it on the onside. Leading edge. Marcus Scopic had one of those early on, was led off, not this time. Well, if you're interested in pace, this is 90 miles an hour, but it's full of length. They've sussed that very quickly, Steve Harmison, bowling fuller than usual. Good catch from Rickham Solanke in that cover region. The ball flies off a thick outside edge. England cling on. He's got one, Steve Harmison. He will be an influence in this game. Wavell Hines has gone for three. West Indies 19 for one. Nicely played. It's a long chase, but no one's going to catch that. It races away. Well, there's nothing wrong with either of those two. If he keeps hitting like that, he doesn't have to run. Two fours from the over. It's 27 for one. Strauss, you cannot keep Flintoff out of the game. Well, no wonder he lifts him up. What a delivery, what a catch. The England plan opens Sarwan up on the back foot. The perfect delivery seems the way, opens him up, and look at this for a catch. One-handed behind him. And the England team realise crucial wicket. It's not anyone, it's the man of the tournament. Ram Naresh Sarwan goes for five. West Indies 35 for two. Top shot. That is a top shot. To get on top of the bounce and time it so well. Oh, that's gone for four. It's raced across this slippery outfield. He's gone. Reaction catch from Harmison. Chris Gale cannot believe it. The unluckiest dismissal. This ball could have gone anywhere. He's through the pull shot. Comes off the toe of the bat. Could have gone anywhere. It loops back. To Steve Harmison, is it going to be England's day? Chasing in a final, you need things to go for you. A disappointed Chris Gale goes for 23, West Indies 49 for three. Has it just carried? I think it has. 
Now the umpires are consulting. First of all, Simon Taufel will have to ask Rudy Kurtzen whether Rudy Kurtzen has seen it carry. Tense moments out there for both teams. England know the fourth wicket now would put them in the driving seat. West Indies realise that uh, if it's given out, they will be uh, under pressure. And it's a tense time. Well, Garant Jones did not appeal. And I think that usually sends a signal that the ball has bounced. And I think those pictures show that the ball has bounced. In the end, he shrugged, saying that he wasn't absolutely sure what had happened. Two umpires had a look, and I think that's obvious there from those shots. The ball bounced. It's up in the air, but it's clear of the infield. He's got enough on that. In fact, he's got more than enough on that. Well, the first one that he's pitched up at Sivaran Chandapal has been bashed away through extra cover. That's a good shot. Got a bottom hand in it, but he steered it away through extra cover, and he's timed it well. He's gone. Lara's gone. Flintoff takes centre stage once again. He's got him back. Brian Lara took a magnificent catch to get rid of Flintoff. He probably walked off the ground saying, when I get the ball, I'll pay you back, and he has. Loose shot by Lara. No feet. Well taken by Jones there. That's a big wicket. He knows it's big. He's trying to get the crowd up behind. And they're gone mad, haven't they? Well, Lara will be mad. He's gone for 14. West Indies, 72 for four. He allowed it to come to him and timed it supremely. Gee, the next 10 overs are really important. Chanderpaul hitting his third boundary. Big one. And he's gone. Big delivery. Guess who's entered the house? Flintoff, he's back, missed out with a bat, and he's here with a ball. Big wicket there for England. Three wickets to Andy Flintoff. Just extra bounce, nip off the pitch, good corridor. Bravo uncertain as to whether he should play or not. He played at it, the edge was found. And Mr Dynamic makes an impression again. Bravo's gone for naught, 80 for five. And well, this should be four off his first ball back. Four more. Three fourth in the over. That's out. Chris Gothic has struck now. That's what he was there for. That's why he was included in the attack. It's a whim from Michael Vaughan that has paid off rather nicely. The seamers have all looked dangerous, and Triscothic adds his name to the list of wicket takers. Well, he's having a good day, Marcus Triscothic, 100 with the bat, and then Ryan Hines following it at, at Triscothic's pace. You tend to follow the ball, and he knows it. There's no better feeling as a part-time bowler. Get a wicket in the final. Ryan Hines goes for eight. West Indies 1-1-4 for six. Flicked away with a certain amount of power too. And it's got enough power on it to make it four. Bit of shape in the air, he's gone! Oh, that's a big wicket here for England. The dangerous Ricardo Powell trying to whip one over the top of mid wicket, didn't quite get it, and Collingwood does the trick. England would have said, sit in, sit in. When he comes to the wicket, he can't resist playing that big shot and it's only Collingwood thick inside edge and it's a short mid wicket there that Triscothic pouches England have pounced again that's another wicket another important wicket Ricardo Powell 14 from 16 135 for 7 in the air and God the big wicket surely that must be it for England here 
the dangerous chance to pull, trying to whip a ball on the onside, got a front edge. They couldn't lose it from here, surely. Look who it is again, Collingwood. Coming up a ball and he's picked up two for ten. They don't get any bigger than this. We just talked about Chander Paul being the key to the game for both sides. Thick outside edge. We've seen that before today. A leaping fielder in the outer, Michael Vaughan. Look at the joy there. England closing in on this Champions Trophy. Chander Paul has gone. 47 looking for somebody to stay with him. It's him that's gone. 47, 147 for eight. Outside edge, that might go for four, and it has. That's the 150 up, folks, they're not out of it, not yet. It got to be close, that's well, he's gone down leg side and they pinched a run. Well, he's given no single there, but he thinks he's hit it. Take a look at this, they'll be looking at the big screen. Captain and bowler, ball of full length, Flintoff, where's it going? Look at the angle. He doesn't go forward, he doesn't go back. Is it sliding down leg side? Is it going to hit middle and leg? Hawkeye would tell us all about it. He's telling us everything he thinks it's out. Hawkeye's view, where's it hitting? Is it missing? It's hitting middle and leg. England thought so. Oh, lovely shot, and they'll get one, they'll get more! It might go away for four, and it will, great shot! Bradshaw's number ten, batting like a number three or four, there's the pressure on Michael Vaughan, look at the joy of West Indies spectators. Outside edge, got it fine, and look, look for two, and they'll get them, good piece of running, brilliant! Full delivery, they'll get at least one, it might go... It's a no ball as well, so it's an extra single, so they get three from it. Oh, that's a big miss. Again, the extras. Big hit. It's gone over backward square. It's gone for four. Oh, beautiful shot, it's, it's gone, they have won it, what a victory, what a magnificent victory for the West Indies. Gutsy effort, oh, you feel sorry for the England boys, but brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just look at these scenes here, they're doing all sorts of things, they don't have a clue what they're doing. What a game of cricket that has been, England, West Indies, England winning the game, hands down. But Bradshaw and Brown, they're under there somewhere. There's not anybody left this ground. It's late September in England. They said you can't play cricket at this time. Have a look at that. Fantastic scenes. Never, ever give up in any sport. What a great example for any sportsman. They were gone. They were gone. Eight for 147. They fought those two, Brown and Bradshaw. They were offered the light. No, we'll back ourselves. And now the England huddle. They didn't do, deserve to lose this. They worked very hard. Commiserations to those boys. They played well. Well, there's winners and losers. Look at these boys. They've won an epic game. It's been a magnificent game of cricket. England 2-1-7. West Indies have sneaked up on them. 218 for eight, courtesy of Courtney Brown and Ian Bradshaw. Sky Sports Cricket. Feel it all.